some silverware on May 19th, but they're up against it tonight against the London City Royals team that has really made some noise here in their inaugural season in the BBL. Fantastic outcome to finish the season in fourth in their opening campaign. And Ashley Hamilton, a big reason why, will tip it off here against Bo Ziegler. And we're off at the Palace, and it's the Royals with first possession. Here's A.J. Roberts, the American, coming over from the Hemel Storm last season. Orlin Jackman up top. This is Hamilton. Hamilton driving. Hamilton with the left hand, denied by Fraser. Great defensive play from the veteran. And now it's Carpenter, passes it up to Murray. This is Greg Pryor, has recommitted for next season. One of four big signings for next season here from the Rocks. Here's Ziegler, three ball, the rainbow doesn't go, and Easy Ed Lucas with the board. Here's Dusha pushing it, Dusha. Dribble handoff now to Jackman. Knifen and Dyson, here is Jackman with the easy two, and it's first blood for the London City Royals. See red tonight. The fans making a red ocean tonight in Royals red t-shirts. Here is Pryor now trying to answer back for the Rocks. On to Carpenter. Frazier, Pryor goes baseline. Off the glass, nicely done by Greg Pryor, taking what the defense gave to him. Here's LVC Dusha handling point guard duties tonight with starting point guard Wes Washman out of the lineup. Skip pass, Ed Lucas, and he stepped out of bounds. So a turnover early by the Royals, and points from turnovers was a big story last time these two teams played on April 20th. <laughs> The Rocks outscoring the Royals 19 to 9 in points from turnovers. This is Carpenter now watched by Dusha. Murray coming off a screen, driving. Frazier, it's a long two, it doesn't go. And Lucas brings down the board. Lucas pushing it. Carpenter picks him up. Pryor blows a tire. Here's Hamilton, hands it off to Lucas. The South London sniper, they double him. 10 on the shot clock. Royals offense looking a bit stagnant. Lucas doing it all himself, isolation, way off. Nice offensive board from Hamilton, cleaning up on the glass. And some second chance points here for the Rocks as they, or for the Royals, I should say, as the Rocks failed to box out. Nice dribble handoff. Unable to convert, but tipping it in. Nicely done here from Bo Ziegler. Crashing the boards, the American. Both teams allowing some second chance points here. This is Hamilton now, driving. Hamilton puts it on the floor. Kick out, Jackman, three ball. Rims out, Roberts on the offensive board, stripped. Frazier, and now Carpenter. Carpenter, on to Pryor. Pryor, three ball. Yes sir, nothing but net for Greg Pryor. And a foul on the play, so Greg Pryor will try to convert a four-point play. And a cardinal sin here committed by the Royals, fouling a three-point shooter. So a bit of a sloppy start here for the home side. And let's see if the Rocks can make them pay here. Greg Pryor on to a nice campaign here in his first BBL season, unable to convert the four-point play, averaging 11 points per game and three assists. Here's A.J. Roberts. On to Hamilton. Hamilton, triple handoff. Dusha into the paint. Kick out wide open is Hamilton for the three ball. It's short, and Pryor pushes it the other way. Ziegler, Pryor. Carpenter, Frazier. Backing in now, Frazier with the running right-hander, and he gets the roll. Nicely done from the Scotsman. And it's a 9-4 lead here for the Rocks. Dusha. Backdoor cut made by Roberts. They wave him off. They go to Jackman instead. Hands off to Lucas. It's a long two. And he cans it. Nicely done from Ed Lucas. Played last season in 
Petro de Luanda winning a title in Angola. Dual passport holder between Angola and the UK. Now Pryor driving. Pryor stops and pops. Nicely done as Dusha flies by. So Greg Pryor feeling it here in the early going. And he's taking it to the Royals here in that point guard battle. Nice give and go. Dusha kick out. And we have a foul on the play. It looks like Gareth Murray's going to get whistled for the foul. So 5.41 to go here in the first quarter. End line ball for the Royals. Jules Dangakoto will come in. And looks like Johnny Bunyan will spell off Greg Pryor, who had some very effective minutes. Roberts to inbound now. This is Dangakoto. Dangakoto. Skip pass. Roberts three pointer. Yes, sir. AJ Roberts. And he wanted a four point play, saying he was hit on the hand. And we're going to slow things down here. 528 to go. Nine for the Royals, 11 for the Rocks. Difficult building to play in here, the Crystal Palace National Sports Center. The Royals, of course, going six months without a home loss in regulation. In the regular season here, this is Ziegler. Carpenter, pardon me, with the teardrop. Doesn't go. Hamilton with the board. Royals can tie or take the lead here with a three. Hamilton doesn't go. And Murray gets the board. Here's Bunyan. On to Frazier now. Frazier doesn't go. Offensive board here for Carpenter. Doesn't go. Frazier batting away at it. So much determination by Frazier, but just unable to finish it off. Jackman showing handles, and we're going to have a foul on Johnny Bunyan. Slicing and dicing. Orland Jackman showing the sweet handle. This is Rincunas and Kieran Achara checking in now as Achara and Carpenter will take a breather. And Matthew Bryan Amanning is going to come on to the game here as he gets his wardrobe malfunction sorted out there. So the Royals really need some big minutes out of NBA here. Dangakoto, Jackman. Thought about it, kicks it out. Ten on the shot clock for Dangakoto as he directs traffic. Waves off the screen, thought about a three-pointer. It was anticipated by Ziegler and he threw it away, so costly turnover here from the Royals. Bunyan on now to Ziegler. Kick out, Bunyan. Falkirk Nada finds Kieran Achara, and it rims out. The rims unforgiving. Here's MBA, one-on-one -on, -one on Achara. Nice spin move. Put him through the spin cycle. MBA live. Ties it up here with four to go in the first quarter. Murray. Watched by Roberts. This is Rincunas. The 28-year-old Lithuanian gets the screen now from Ziegler. Nice pick and roll. This move the ball nicely. It's buzzing around the perimeter and a steal by the Royals. Dangakoto, kick out. Three ball, Lucas, it's short. Roberts tracks it down. Another attempt for Lucas. And another offensive board, and it's Orland Jackman drawing a foul on Gareth Murray. And that is what OJ does. Bearded boy wonder. Giving you those hustle minutes for the Royals here as we're deadlocked at 11. And you'll get a well-deserved breather here. Will Neighbor checking in. They need to get him going. He's really cooled off towards the end of the season. He was up above 53% from the three-point line earlier. Loves those above-the-break threes. Brian Manning backing in. Working on Achara, spinning, nice drop step by MBA Live, who is locked in for this one. Great work on the block here in the early going from Matthew Bryan Amani. Rincunas, and nice 
Swipe move on Roberts, picking up the foul. AJ Roberts plays very tenacious D. And sometimes can look to draw the foul on him with that ultra-aggressive defense he plays. So LVC Dusha, the Albanian international, back into this one. They'll play with two point guards now with Dusha and Dangakoto. So lots of ball handling out there for the Royals. Interesting to see if Dusha plays off guard a little. He's a very good three-point shooter. Enjai steps out of bounds. And a turnover here against the Rocks with under three to go. The home side up by two. Of course, this is an aggregate playoff, so every possession counts. Every basket counts as these two teams go back to play on Sunday in Glasgow. You can catch that one on the BBC if you can't make it out to the Emirates Arena. Three ball, Luke, and an offensive board by Neighbor, but unable to convert the putback. Love to have that one back. Bunyan, Njai, Murray, three ball, nothing but net for the assassin, Gareth Murray, the GB International. Big time bucket from the veteran who has committed to come back next season. Here's Dangakoto trying to answer back. Offense board for Hamilton, doesn't go. Achara with the board. And now Bunyan will push it. Murray, Rincunas. Bunyan, Rincunas, Murray on the block. 10 on the shot clock. Dangakoto reaches, and we're gonna have a reach in foul on Jules Dangakoto. Great job by Murray, sniffing out the mismatch there. He's got the size advantage on Dangakoto. So Bunyan now will inbound from the end line. Rocks by one with two minutes to go here in the first quarter. And Kunis coming off the screen. They kick it out to Murray. Enjai wide open for the three. Doesn't go. And Neighbor with the defensive board. Here's Dangakoto pushing it. Dangakoto will slow it down. The Rocks showing zone above the break. Three for Neighbor. Doesn't go. And the tip in from NBA off the mark. Achar with a big defensive board. 140 to go here. Bunyan gets the screen from Achara. Lines up the three ball. It doesn't go. NBA with the defensive board. Dangakoto over the timeline now. Got Hamilton on the wing, drives into the paint. Tough shot and smooth ground. Jules makes it to put the Royals back in front. He's best when he's taking those off balance shots. Loves to get into the paint and finish off the circus shots. This is Enjai. He's been quiet so far tonight. He's going to get a screen from Achara. Royal switch. And Matthew Bryan Manning whistled for a foul. and. Bit of an unnecessary foul, and you gotta think if this th game goes into overtime, you gotta really keep an eye on your fouls as this game progresses. Murray to inbound now, on to Achara. Fakes the handoff, gets it to Rincunas. 10 on the shot clock, gets the screen from Achara. Pocket pass, the big fella, tough shot. And Brian Amani does great to get that defensive board. Dangakoto working on Bunyan. He's got a size mismatch, kick out. Hamilton goes baseline, short corner, and he knocks it down. Murray, Rincunas, kick out, Bunyan, nice ball movement. Back to Bunyan, Rincunas puts it on the floor, Murray. And it doesn't go. Hamilton battles for it, looks for MBA, and he threw it away with 17.2 to go. And I think that's one where Coach Jay Williams would have liked Hamilton to slow it down and play for last shot. Now the Rocks will have an opportunity here to close it out. A three to tie, a two to put them within one of the Royals. Important possession here in this one. Pryor, eight on the clock. Pryor driving. Pryor blows a tire. 
The teardrop doesn't go, and it's Hamilton, and that will do it as the buzzer sounds. So after one quarter here at the Crystal Palace National Sports Center, it's the home side. London City Royals, the number four seed. Odin front, 17-14 over the Glasgow Rocks. I'll be back in one minute's time here at the Palace. Weber with you back here at the Crystal Palace National Sports Center. 17-14. The London City Royals lead the Glasgow Rocks in a defensive battle between these two squads. And after the first quarter, both teams struggling a little bit offensively. The Royals shooting just 40%. The Rocks a little bit worse at 33%. The team's struggling behind the arc as well. The Royals one of eight, the Rocks two of six. Rebounding a big storyline so far, the Royals with the advantage 17 to eight. And this Glasgow Rocks team is light on size. Kieran Achara pretty much on his own in there at 6'10". Gareth Murray 6'7". And also Alistair Frazier, 6'7". So the Royals have the size advantage inside. We'll see if they look to exploit that. Points in the paint also favoring the Royals, 10-6. And bench points as well, strongly in favor of the Royals, 6-0. Here's Rincunas, poked away by Alvisi Dusha. 17 on the shot clock here. Rincunas, Frazier... Njai, Ziegler, and Pryor, the five Glasgow Rocks. Frazier, Pryor in the short corner. Driving, doesn't go. Neighbor boxes out nicely and gets it on to Dangakoto. Dusha, he's got Neighbor open for a three, and NBA's gonna throw it down! With authority, the big fella making his presence felt. That puts Brian Amanning, or Brian Amazing, if you will, at six points so far in the early going. Rincunas, nice pass. Frazier dips the shoulder in to Neighbor and is gonna get whistled for the offensive foul. Good defensive play here from Neighbor, establishing position, and an easy call, really, for the officials. So five point lead here for the Royals. Alvisi Dusha. He's gonna stay in this one, Ed Lucas. To inbound. So Alvisi Dusha, he's been around the block here. With the Worcester Wolves last season. London native. And now, here's Dusha up top, gets the screen from Brian Amani. Hamilton driving, Hamilton puts on the brakes with the Eurostep. Brian Amani doesn't go. Would love to have that one back. Rincunas pushing it. Here's Frazier, they swing it around to Njai. He's watched by Lucas on the block now. They kick out, Frazier, Rincunas, eight on the shot clock. The Lithuanian puts a deep three up, misses everything, and Hamilton now the other way. Hamilton, AGP, goes into the block to Ham to Brian Amanin, who finishes nicely inside. And we're gonna get a timeout here from Vincent Lavandier, and certainly a bit upset on that blown coverage here, as Matthew Brian Amanin, certainly a difference maker here in the early going, they don't really have anyone to body him with size. 
other than Kieran Achara. So when Achara is resting, it'll be interesting to see if they look to play a little bully basketball inside with Brian Amani, who is off to a great start here, leading the Royals in points. Don't forget the Benicos British Basketball Playoff Finals end of season finale is approaching at the iconic O2 Arena, Sunday, May 19th. Tickets available at AXS.com. May Madness well underway here. And some mayhem here in the Palace right now. 21-14, the home side out in front in this BBL quarterfinal matchup. Royals had the advantage in the regular season and also sweeping the matchup in the BBL Trophy semifinal. So Royals went four of five against the Rocks this season. The Rocks with a big victory March 26th, winning 98-81 up in Glasgow. Very, very difficult team to play at home. Ten home wins in a row they had earlier this year. So you get the feeling the Royals, this is a must-win game almost for them. And we're going to have an offensive foul here on the Rocks, who are suddenly getting into a little bit of foul trouble as this Royals defense is locked in and doing a great job of drawing offensive fouls, getting to the spots. So Frazier will come off. Lucas to inbound. This is Alvisi Dusha from London United. Up over the timeline. On to Nasty Neighbor, who's been quiet so far here. Offensively, that is. Dusha. He's got Neighbor wide open above the break. Neighbor loses the handle. Dusha keeps it. Five on the shot clock. Skip pass. Rogers. Three ball. Yes, sir. The microwave is heating up. Josh Rogers with a big time bucket from the corner. 10 points to the good. The home side here. Can Greg Pryor respond? Gets it on to Njai. Buna Njai. Sort of Northwestern Nazarene. Here's Rincunas. Achara into the corner. Pryor thought about it. Achara on the block. Nice pass. Njai driving to the big man. And a foul on Dusha. Heads up play by Dusha to make Achara earn it here from the charity stripe. And we're going to have Matthew Bryan a Manning come back in along with Orlin Jackman. That's a good substitution by head coach Jay Williams recognizing the size in Kieran Achar out there and he's going to want to play matchups I think here as Achara is a load on the block and crafty crafty veteran too he's got that savviness to his game to exploit mismatches so the southpaw here from the charity stripe knocks down the first over 105 caps for Team GB. Debuted for the national team in 2008. Storied career. And they retired his jersey as well here in the final regular season game up at Emirates Arena. Here's Dangakoto. Rocks in the zone D. Lucas, three ball. Rims out. Acharo with the board. Here's Pryor. Gets the screen from Achara. Murray. Rincunas. Royal switch. Achara. It's a deep two. Rims out. Jackman with the board. Lucas pushing it. South London sniper on to Jackman. This is Jules Dangakoto. On now to Jackman. Brian Amani in the short corner. Back and in. Achara pokes it away, but right to Jackman. Eight on the shot clock. Lucas, teardrop, and it's blocked. Rincunas gets it to Achara. Gareth Murray finds Pryor. Pryor, penetration, kick out. Njai, three ball. Great ball movement and splash from Buna Njai. Terrific basketball and execution here from the Glasgow Rocks. Dangakoto. Ed Lucas coming off a screen. Jackman into the corner. Ten to go. Here's Jackman. Pump fakes. Jackman. Double team. Skip pass. Lucas. Three to shoot. 
Lucas with the fadeaway. Big time bucket from Skip to my Lucas. Achara with the rim run. Achara doesn't go. Offensive board denied by Matthew Bryan, a man, and bringing the block party. Averaging over a block a game here in the BBL. Lucas, Rogers, Jackman. The double comes. Jackman goes baseline. The reverse doesn't go. Achara loses his footing. And a hustle play here, but heads up play by the veteran. Throwing it off a London City Royal and keeping it Rock's possession here. 5.26 to go here in the first half. Seven point lead for the London City Royals in this first leg of the BBL quarterfinals. Njai, they double. Here's Pryor. Murray thought about it. He's not shy to shoot those three pointers. In the top 10 in BBL and three pointers made this season. Achara from the short corner and the big fella showing off a sweet, sweet shoot and touch. Five point game here at the Palace. Jackman plays catch with Dangakoto. Rogers. MBA. Pump fakes. MBA. Backs in. Up and under. Doesn't go. Achara with the board. Good defense from the Scottish veteran. This is Njai now. On to Achara. Pryor. Rock's making a bit of a run here. Pryor driving. Kick out. Achara triggers the three. It's short. Loses his footing. And now it's Jackman. Jackman. Dangakoto. Dangakoto into the paint. Rogers. And there's a foul on the floor against the Rocks. Nice job by Rogers being aggressive, taking it to the basket. And we're going to have a timeout here by the London City Royals. Five point advantage here. The Rocks starting to turn it on here a little bit in this second quarter of scoring the Royals 9-7 to seven here with 4-12 to go. It's Greg Pryor leading all scorers right now with nine points. Matthew Bryan Manning with eight for the Royals and Achar and Hamilton grabbing the most boards so far at six each. But both teams really Struggling to find their shooting touch here. The Royals at 41%, the Rocks at just 30. And rebounds heavily favoring the Royals here. They've won the battle on the board so far, 22 to 14. They've also been sharing the sugar nicely. Seven assists to the Rocks, five points in the paint. Also strongly favoring the Royals here in the early going, 14 to six. That's to be expected as this Rocks squad has moved to a more perimeter game here since changing head coach with Vincent Lavande. Preferring a system more of ball movement rather than pounding it inside to the big fellas. So a long way to go here. Home side, Odin front by five in one of the most intriguing matchups here in the BBL playoffs. Brian Manning thought about it, puts it on the floor. Dangakoto. Deep two. Doesn't go. Jackman looking for it. Brian Manning catches it. Nice dish inside. Big to big for Ashley Hamilton. And AGP puts it in for two. Beautiful dime by NBA Live, who is bringing a bit of everything tonight. Here's Achara. Achara. Hands it off to Rincunas. Rincunas, nicely done by the Lithuanian, but unable to finish off. And he's favoring his elbow as he took a knock here. Lucas, run off the three-point line. In and out. Unlucky for Ed Lucas, who has yet to really find a rhythm here. He had 11 points last time these two teams met on April 20th. Here's Njai driving. Njai stripped. Dangakoto one on one. Dangakoto with a lovely Euro step. Misses it though. Costly miss here by Jules Dangakoto. He'd love to have that one back. Achara on the block now. Achara 
And it's stripped. Jackman. Jackman. Lucas, and he's out of bounds. Pardon me, a foul indicated first on Enjai. So Royals catch a little bit of a break here as we get a timeout with 2.54 to go here in the second quarter. And they pack the palace tonight. Another boisterous crowd. So important here for the Royals to win this one as both teams have been very dominant at home here. Palace, one of the toughest places to play in this season in the BBL. Of course, the City Royals went over six months in the regular season undefeated. And a reminder, scoop up those tickets while you can for the Benicos British Basketball Playoff Finals. May Madness, the end of season finale, Sunday, May 19th at the legendary O2 Arena. Tickets available at AXS.com. They're going off the shelf in a hurry. Scoop them up while you have the chance. So many different storylines that could play out. Is it going to be the London Lions who have led gate to gate here in the BBL? Is it the Leicester Riders as they try to retain their title? Could it be the London City Royals, the upstart new kids on the block with a BBL trophy already to their name in their inaugural season? And how about these Glasgow Rocks, arguably the best team in the second half of the BBL this season? And on fire since changing coaches, and we got a kick ball on the Rocks. So Royals catch a little bit of a break here. Sideline ball, Ed Lucas, Jackman, Dangakoto, Matthew Bryan, Manning, Ashley Hamilton, the five London City Royals, and Njai, Pryor, Achara, Carpenter, and Ziegler. Here's Lucas. Looking for Hamilton, goes instead to Bryan, Manning. Hamilton, he's got the matchup he wants. Going to work on Carpenter and Ziegler, pardon me, in good defense. Here's Ziegler! And he lays it in for two. Great play at both ends of the court by Bo Ziegler. And you see why he is up in the top ten in the BBL in field goal percentage. Gets a lot of good looks in the paint. Hamilton can't get it to go, and Brian Manning doing a bit of everything tonight. Hamilton saying he was fouled on the play, but it's been Brian Amani that has been carrying the load tonight. NBA Live locked in. And Dangakoto was sniffing out a steal there. Didn't quite get it though. Pryor showing some handles. On now to Carpenter. Achara on the block. Kick out. Njai. Dribble penetration. And he'll go to the free throw line. Nice job by Njai. Showing some sweet handles and getting that dribble penetration. Very difficult player when he gets going downhill, Buna Njai. So Matthew Bryan Manning will check out as Will Neighbor comes in. Some great minutes here from NBA Live who really made a case for BBL MVP earlier in the season. Numbers have Dipped off a little bit, but at 17 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and one block per game. Certainly going to get some votes for BBL MVP. And he has some winning pedigrees, won some titles in Japan, France, Mexico, and Argentina. Neighbor blows a tire, and now it's Hamilton. Might run the offense through him as a point forward. Dangakoto, difficult shot. Smooth crown jewels, cannon it with the step back. Nine point lead for the home side. Pryor on to Njai. He's been dangerous tonight. Njai, baseline. Still going. Njai puts on the brakes. And he walked. You gotta have an oyster card if you wanna travel in London. So a turnover here on the Rocks with 1.11 to go. And this is a pivotal last minute here at the Palace. Royals trying to blow it open. And the Rocks trying to get a bit of momentum going into halftime. 
And we're going to have a timeout here as the London City Royals with a nine point advantage in what's been a defensive duel. Both these teams like to play a slower pace. A lot of veterans out there on the wrong side of 30 in their star power in Matthew Bryan, Manning, and Ashley Hamilton, and of course Kieran Achar at 35. Doesn't quite have the foot speed that he used to. So both squads will look to grind this one out. Shooting percentages still staying quite low here. The Royals at 41%, the Rocks at 32, and neither team able to get it going from behind the arc. Royals in particular struggling at two for 10, Rocks at three for nine. Surprising, there's a lot of players that can shoot the three ball up over 40%. Will Neighbor was leading the BBL for a long part in this season, up over 50%, a, a godlike percentage, but he's dropped down to 40%, just hasn't looked as confident shooting the ball from beyond the arc. But of course, Alvisi Dusha and Ed Lucas, both over 40% for the Rocks, Bunyan, and Rincunas over 40%. So some certified marksmen in the building tonight. This is Hamilton playing the role point forward tonight. Kick out, Jackman driving, neighbor. Six on the shot clock, he's gotta get something off in a hurry. Hamilton driving, Hamilton. It was Roberts throwing it up, and that will be a shot clock violation. Good D from the Rocks, and really seemed inevitable there that Hamilton was going to drive, and the Rocks nicely converging on him, forcing the turnover. So great team defense from this squad. One of the best in the business at making those hustle plays and very high team IQ here on this squad. Rincunas driving. Rincunas puts on the brakes. Carpenter, mid-range jumper from the elbow. Doesn't go. Achara! Yes! And they're going to wave it off. And a foul on the play here. A holding call against the American, A.J. Roberts. So sideline ball here prior to inbound. End line ball, I should say. Prior Achara Rincunas. Oh, sideline ball. It is. So Carpenter now will inbound. 14 on the shot clock. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Nine point lead here for the Royals. Achara has to push off. And now gets it on to Pryor. Watch closely by Roberts, like white on rice. Carpenter driving. Carpenter just dissecting the D. Great patience, and it rims out. Unlucky for Bo Ziegler there, as he showed some terrific patience. The Royals will play for last shot here. 10 seconds to go. Pick comes from Neighbor. Three seconds, difficult shot. And it doesn't go. Roberts hoists it up. It won't count. So that will do it after two quarters here at the Crystal Palace National Sports Center. The London City Royals out in front, 32-23 over the Glasgow Rocks in a defensive duel. We are in for a fantastic second half. I'm Mike Weber. Thanks for being with us tonight. And stay with us. We'll be back in about 13 minutes time for some fantastic Benicos British Basketball League quarterfinal action here at the Palace. The Packer Academy.
Welcome back to the Crystal Palace National Sports Centre for Benicos British Basketball League playoff action here at the Palace and as the London City Royals, the fourth seed out in front, 32-23 over the Glasgow Rocks. You can hardly call them the underdog though, both teams finishing the season at 18 and 15. The Royals with the tiebreaker winning four of five matchups this year but you gotta think that this is a much a must win game tonight for the Royals given how fantastic the Rocks have been at home this season and particularly in the second half of this season where they put together a nice 10 game home win streak so lots of pressure on the Royals tonight and for the Rocks the big story tonight Alistair Frazier picking up two fouls early and really stuck on the bench for a lot of the first half only able to play seven minutes and picking up two points and of course he is the leading scorer here for the Glasgow Rocks one of three players along with Achar and Rincunas averaging 12 points per game but so many good secondary scorers on this squad Greg Pryor averaged 11 points per game Ziegler 10 this year and Njai with 10 as well and uh, of course Njai is coming off a terrific end of the season dropping 17 on Plymouth in the final regular season game so he's hot at the right moment so back to the action here in the second half at the Palace Dusha Lucas this is Roberts on the wing the American the former Hemel Storm star driving skip pass Dusha they run him off the line the rainbow doesn't go and it's Pryor with the defensive board Pryor pushing it and now Murray wide open for the three and he cans it big time bucket from Gareth Murray a fantastic stretch for he can really space the floor at that four position Lucas on to Hamilton Dusha here comes Jackman. Lucas gets the screen from Hamilton. They go to Hamilton now in the short corner. Hamilton driving. Stops, fades, and it's deflected. Slow start here from the Royals who have come out flat. Rincunas driving at Ziegler. Nice move. Tough D. Fantastic play from Bo Ziegler. That is a world-class move from Bo Ziegler. Lucas driving. Lucas. Here's the three ball. Jackman doesn't go. And it's a defensive last touch on the Rocks. So we'll remain Royals ball here. They need an easy basket. They have looked disjointed here to start the third. And can't rely on the outside shot. They have to get something going towards the rim. This is Hamilton. Hands it off to Dusha. Dusha driving. Dusha going baseline. And he is fouled. Rocks thought they got the block there. The official's in a better position than we are to see that. So Dusha will go to the free throw line and Bit of a bailout here for the Royals. They really need to get some points here and just get a bit of momentum back. This unit to start the third hasn't really run sets that effectively here. Rock's doing a great job in the half court defense, not allowing any dribble penetration. Dusha cans the first. He's been around the block here and had a fantastic performance in the BBL Trophy, leading the Royals to silverware. Pryor, and we got a moving screen here on the rocks. Good call by the officials, as Bo Ziegler was moving when he set that screen. 8.23 to go, so a turnover on Glasgow. Five-point lead for the home side. Dusha over the timeline now. Gets the screen from Hamilton. Dusha driving, Dusha spinning, Dusha fading off the window. Nice bucket from Dishes for Days, Alvisi Dusha, who is stepping up here with Wes Washburn out of the lineup. 
great opportunity for him on the big stage. He's a guy that's not afraid of the moment. This is Murray. Pryor driving, step back. Pryor with a hand in his face. What a shot, Greg Pryor. The assassin. This is Dusha now. The double comes. Nice passing. Hamilton. Yes, sir. Great rotation by the Rocks. That was good defense from the Rocks, but tip your hat to the Royals. Quick ball movement, and Hamilton able to finish in the paint. Not an easy shot with Gareth Murray all over him. Pryor. Dusha trying to get a steal here. Pryor driving. He has been spectacular. Pryor thought about it. Rincunas on the wing now. Ten on the shot clock. Rincunas driving. Nice pass. And the throw down from Bo Ziegler. Beautiful execution from the Rocks. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. They have got the chemistry. Roberts. Jackman. Dusha. Here comes Hamilton, and we got a foul on Frazier, and that is number three on him. That's a tough call for Frazier. We'll see if Lavendier shows some con he's showing some confidence in him, letting him play through it, trusting the veteran. And it'll be interesting to see if the Royals look to go at him. As he's going to have to be a little bit less aggressive here defensively. Here's Jackman, deep three. Rims out. Murray with the board. Pryor. Over the timeline. Pryor calls his own number. The pull-up three doesn't go. Dusha tracks it down. Here's Hamilton with the nice crossover. Hamilton driving. And that's an offensive foul. And it's going to be a blocking foul, in fact. Oh, it is going to be a charge on Hamilton. Good job by the Rocks. Hamilton putting his head down, and it was clear that he was going to the rim. And really had numbers, could have dished it off. Heads up play by the Rocks, forcing the turnover, drawing the offensive foul. Ziegler now to inbound. On now to Pryor. Pryor over the timeline. Rincunas. Ziegler. Murray. Murray doesn't go. Would love to have that one back as he misses the bunny at the rim. Hamilton. Handoff. Lucas driving. Lucas from the short corner. Nice offensive board. Jackman on the offensive glass. Up over six and a half rebounds per game. OJ. And now nice spin move on the baseline. Oh, Bo Ziegler is in it, this one. Bo Ziegler looking fantastic in the paint tonight. Here's Hamilton. Dusha driving. Dusha, 12 on the shot clock. Skip pass, Roberts, three ball, gets it! Big time bucket from A.J. Roberts, one of the most improved Royals this season. Ziegler, heads up play by Hamilton, but he can't stay in bounds, so we're gonna have a couple substitutions here. Matthew Bryan, a Manning, is gonna come in. And Kieran Achara back into this one. So the big boys back on the floor here. Matthew Bryan Manning, a terrific first half he had, leading the Royals with 10 points. Pryor with the ball now leading all scores with 11. The bucket has looked as big as an ocean to him today. Pryor driving, Pryor. Tough shot, rims out, and we got a jump ball. Pardon me, we're going to have a reach-in foul on Ashley Hamilton. Sideline ball, 5-12 to go. Eight-point advantage for the home side. Jules Dangakoto back into this one. The Team GB International, just 23 years of age. Happy birthday to Jules Dangakoto yesterday. And good D here from Brian Manning that almost picked up a steal. Here's Pryor, 
Seven on the shot clock. Rincunes, nice dish. Achara, the double comes. He's got to get something off in a hurry. In the corner, just in the nick of time. Misses everything. And Brian Emanion with the board. Lucas looking to Roberts. And too much on that pass. So a turnover on the Royals here. So very defensive-minded squad out there. Roberts and Jules Stangakoto very good at forcing steals here for the Royals. Pryor over the timeline. Ziegler sets the screen. They go to Rincunas on the wing. Achara provides the screen. Rincunas, nice pass and an easy two. Perfect execution from this Glasgow Rock squad. Brings the lead now to six. Brian Amanning backing in on Achara. Backing in, drop stepping in. Lovely stuff from MBA, who is feeling it today. Pryor, can he answer back? Gets the screen from Achara. Royal switch into the corner. Murray, he's been dynamite from behind the arc tonight. Rincunas, Ziegler driving, a steal. Hamilton to Lucas, numbers behind the back. Throw down time for NBA Live any day of the week. NBA baby. And the crowd on their feet with the throwdown in the showdown by Matthew Bryan Amani to bring the home side up. 10 and a great timeout by Lavendier as he tries to slow down the momentum here. Can't allow the crowd to get in this one and be like a six player out there on the court for the Royals. So, Rocks came out nicely to start the third, but Royals have turned up the defensive intensity here and have a 10 point cushion here as they outscore the Rocks by the slimmest of margins here, 14 to 13. Don't forget the Benicos British Basketball Playoff Finals and a season finale. May Mayhem Sunday the 19th at the O2 Arena in Southeast London. Tickets are going fast. Log on to axs.com and scoop them up while you can. 3.55 left to go in the third quarter. Momentum has shifted to the home side. Can the Rocks respond here? Going with a veteran lineup here. Murray, Pryor, Rincunas, Achara, and Bo Ziegler, who has been terrific tonight, providing great secondary scoring with eight points and shooting very high percentage here. Pryor. And great rotation by the Royals as Tolawasi gets a hand on that and knocks it out of bounds as otherwise Bo Ziegler was going up for an easy two. So prior to inbound here from the end line now. Pryor. Got to get it in in a hurry. Gets it to Achara. Achara. He's got a size mismatch here on Tolawasi. Backing in. The double comes. Murray. Three ball. Greg Pryor misses. And a couple of opportunities. Achara can't get it to go. Still at it. Matthew Bryan Manning thought he got the block, but will be whistled for the foul. And that will send the big southpaw, Kieran Achara, to the charity stripe. So great work from the product of Duquesne University, Kieran Achara, in his final season here in the BBL. And has his mind set up on going out with glory. And he misfires on the first. Brian Amanning, neighbor, Tolawasi, Dengakoto, and Lucas, the five Royals, Achara, Rincunas, Pryor, Murray, and Ziegler for the Rocks. Less than three and a half to go here at the Palace in the first leg of the BBL quarterfinals. Dangakoto. He's got a very bright future ahead of him. Very good defensive player. Here's Neighbor. Tolawasi to Neighbor. Brian Amanning, three ball. Yes, sir, for NBA Live, who is in the zone tonight. Pryor trying to answer back. Another player who's feeling it tonight. 
Looked like a kickball there by Neighbor, no call. Here's Pryor, they run him off the line. The defense is in. Achara, eight on the shot clock. Nice cut by Rincunas and gets the roll. Heads up play by the Lithuanian and a beautiful dime by Kieran Achara. The big fella can dish it out. Such a luxury to have a big man that can pass the ball the way Achara does. Lucas, three ball, offensive board almost for Nabry. Couldn't handle it and now we got a three on three the other way. Murray, Pryor, 14 on the shot clock. Murray, Pryor, play catch. And now Pryor one on one against NBA. Achara from the short corner, tough shot and he sticks it. Showing some veteran leadership. Kieran Achara with a couple of great possessions on the offensive end. What a player, folks. Kieran Achara. Neighbor from the corner. Yes, sir. The boy next door with a big triple. And back to double digits. The Royals' lead goes to 11. Greg Pryor looking to respond. Crossing over. Rincunas on the wing. Rincunas driving. Almost threw it away. Pryor scoops it up. Achara pump fakes, puts it on the floor. Achara step back from the elbow. Tough shot. Rincunas flies in for the offensive board. And now a fresh 14 on the clock. Murray, eight on the shot clock. Rincunas, yes, sir. And that's a triple. Rincunas, great work from the Lithuanian with the offensive board and knocking down the triple. Lucas. Dangakoto, Tolawasi, the double comes. Dangakoto driving, spinning. Dangakoto stepping back with the rainbow, misses everything. And that's out of bounds on the Royals. A bit of indecision from Jules Dangakoto. Coaching staff would like to see him just trust his jumper and go up and take that jumper. No need to fade, he's got a lot of length at the point guard position. This is Pryor now in the final minute of the third quarter, eight point lead for the home side. Frazier back into this one will set the screen. Pryor crossing over. Here's Ziegler and we're gonna have a foul on the play. Uh, Sam Tolawasi trying to seal off the baseline. So with 39.6 seconds to go. The Rocks will inbound from the end line. Pryor, Frazier, Carpenter, Ziegler, and Rincunas. Pryor into Frazier. The double comes. Pryor looking dangerous tonight. Pryor, nice dish. Oh, get out of here. And they're going to call goaltending on Matthew Braun and Manning. Beautiful cut by Bo Ziegler. One of the smartest players in the BBL. So great at cutting to the basket at opportune times. Dangakoto driving. He's got neighbor open for an above the break three. Brian Amani dishes to Loassi. Deep three. Can't bank it in. A char uh, Frazier, pardon me. Here's Bunyan. Rincunas driving. Frazier can't convert, but he'll go to the free throw line and try and get two here as the Rocks have done a nice job. They can shave this thing down to a four point deficit if Frazier can knock down these two from the charity stripe. 6.5 seconds left, so the Royals can get the defensive board. There's time if they push it to get a decent look off. So Alistair Frazier, the veteran, goes two for two. And we're gonna get a substitution Njai in for Frazier. Good substitution from Lavande as he wants to protect Frazier with three fouls. Dangakoto, and the double comes and we have a foul on Njai. 3.1 to go here. A.J. Roberts to inbound. 
Brian Amanning, three ball, difficult shot. It rims out. And that is it for the first three quarters here at the Palace. It's a four point advantage by for the London City Royals as the Rocks do a nice job closing that quarter. I'm Mike Weaver. I'll be back with more action here at the Palace in one minute's time. Welcome back to the Crystal Palace National Sports Center. Fourth quarter action about to go here. And it's the home side, London City Royals, with a slim four point advantage over the visiting Glasgow Rocks on what's been a defensive battle between these two squads. The Royals shooting 44%, the Rocks 41. Big story has been on the boards tonight. The Royals with a 33-26 advantage also in the paint. Despite the best efforts of Bo Ziegler, it's the Royals outscoring the Rocks 28-20. Second chance points also strongly favoring the Royals at 11-3, along with bench points at 27-17. The Rocks have been the better team on the fast break outscoring the Royals nine to four. So a big, big 10 minutes to go here at the Palace. Carpenter, Bunyan, Njai, Frazier, and Rincunis for the Rocks. The Scottish veteran, Johnny Bunyan, on to Rincunis. This is Carpenter, Carpenter driving. Picks up his dribble, goes to Frazier on the block. Back and in, drop step, finger roll, and count it. Chance for a three-point play. Will Neighbor whistled for the foul. Big time bucket from Frazier, who can pull this to within one here. If he can knock it down from the charity stripe. The 6-7 forward out of the University of Maine. 56% field goal percentage this season up in the top 10 in the BBL and he converts the three-point play and we have got a game one point lead here for the home side they need a bucket Tolawasi skip pass Roberts neighbor and on the elbow finds Dusha Dusha driving Dusha neighbor three ball rims out Frazier Big time board. Bunyan driving now. Bunyan picks up his dribble, finds Carpenter. Goes to Rincunis. Gets the screen from Frazier. Rincunis driving. Beautiful pass. Oh, with the throw down. Frazier. Big time bucket. And he is looking in top form right now. Roberts. This is Dusha Tolawasi. Driving, Roberts, neighbor. Three on the shot clock, he's got to get something off. Difficult shot, misses everything. And now the Rocks the other way. Njai, and that's an offensive foul. Great job by Will Neighbor. Getting to his spot, saw Njai didn't have much room to operate and drew the offensive foul. So the Rocks with a one point lead here as they have gone on a nice run here in the second half. Outscored the Royals 25 to 20 in that third quarter and five nil here to start the fourth. Jackman, Dusha driving, nice pass, Brian Manning. 
And a foul on the floor. So he'll go to the charity stripe for two. Or sideline ball, pardon me. So 8.24 to go. Roberts to inbound for the Royals. Dusha up top. He's got Rincunas on him. Goes to Orland Jackman. Dusha. Roberts at the elbow. Brian Amanning, size mismatch. Brian Amanning can't get the roll and instead will go to the free throw line. The big man having a game tonight here. 17 points, seven rebounds. Ed Lucas is going to come back into this one. A.J. Roberts with six points on the evening will check out. So Matthew Brian Amanning. Big time signing this offseason by Director of Basketball Operations, Namo Shiri. Arguably forming one of the best tandems in the front court in BBL history between two BBL British players with Ashley Hamilton, signed from Manresa in the Spanish ACB League. So MBA goes two for two, and the press is on now for the Royals. Bunyan. Enjai, Bunyan, Carpenter. Bunyan gets the screen. And now it's Carpenter in the corner. Nowhere to go. Seven seconds. Frazier, Carpenter puts up the three ball. Rims out. Hamilton with the board. Dusha on to Hamilton on the wing. Goes to Brian Amanian on the block. And we got a foul on the floor against Frazier, and that is number. That is a big time foul here on Frazier, who is done here. Five fouls on him. So this could be a storyline here. Dusha on to Lucas. Lucas. This is Dusha, up and under, nice bucket from LVC Dusha, showing great patience on the drive and putting the Royals back, up three. Here's Bunyan looking to respond. Rincunas driving, Rincunas into the paint, kick out, Bunyan into the corner, Njai, Rincunas, six on the shot clock, it's gonna go one on one against Hamilton. To Bunyan, three, spinning from the elbow, denied, and he walked. Turnover on the Glasgow Rocks, and momentum shifting to the Royal side here with 7.06 left in the fourth quarter. Three point lead for the home side. It's going to go down to the wire. We have got a game, folks. And the Benicos British Basketball Playoff Finals are approaching. Scoop up your tickets for the end of season finale. Sunday, May 19th at the iconic O2 Arena. Log on to AXS.com and scoop up your tickets while supplies last. It's heating up here at the Palace. It's going to go down to the wire. Great effort here from the Glasgow Rocks coming in, executing the game plan on the road. It's been a scrappy game here, a defensive duel. And a great effort here in the fourth quarter. Royals by three, but Rocks in a bit of foul trouble with Alistair Frazier glued to the bench now. So it'll be interesting to see if the Royals try to go inside. Rock's going with a very small lineup right now. No true big man out there. Ziegler at 6'6 is going to be the biggest player out there. Or Murray now, I should say, at 6'7. So interesting to see if they go to Brian Amani or Hamilton on the block. This is Jackman. Hamilton, step back, it's a two. Yes, sir! Foot on the line. Well, they'll give him three. Pardon me. 
Pryor. This is Enjai. Driving now. Ziegler, and he doesn't get it this time. Hamilton with the board. Hamilton over the timeline. On to Dusha. We'll wave off Lucas, who will run baseline. They'll skip it to Jackman. Lucas. Eight on the shot clock. Lucas into the paint. Dusha, six to go on the shot clock. MBA, three ball. Brian Manning rims out, offensive board. Hamilton, and he draws the foul on Gareth Murray, who doesn't like the call with 6.07 to go. That will put AGP at the free throw line here. So important for Hamilton to knock these down. Royals struggled this season from the free throw line, shooting around 70% all season. And AGP, the London native, knocks it down on the first. First time here playing back at home in front of family and friends after a great spell in Spain. And he goes two for two from the stripe. For the GB International with 6.07 left to go here in regulation time. The big man, Kieran Achara, back into this one. Murray on to Pryor. The press is on. Murray on to Pryor. They try to trap him. He almost threw it away. Murray driving, throw down, and a denial from Matthew Bryan. A Manning with a huge block. He's fired up. Jackman. And he dribbles into a double team and draws the foul. Bit of a bail call. Jackman was in trouble there. But he'll go to the charity stripe now into the penalty. So real opportunity here for the Royals to get some easy points from the free throw line. Orland Jackman, veteran, inspirational leader here for the Royals. He's had some big games. The back-to-back -back BBL Cup winner. This season, hoisted the BBL trophy. Had some stints internationally in Germany and Portugal. Last year in Cheshire. And he goes two for two. So OJ holding his nerve from the free throw line. Here's Pryor on to Murray. Pryor. Murray. Pryor. Driving, kick out to Rincunis. Murray up top, He's got a mismatch. Inside to Ziegler, and he draws the foul on Ashley Hamilton. Great aggressive play here from Bo Ziegler, who has been fantastic tonight with 10 points, two rebounds, and two assists. He has really stuffed the stat sheet tonight, the 6-6 forward out of George Washington. Great signing this season. He has really been terrific in the front court for the Glasgow Rocks. So Ziegler misfires on the first attempt. Nine point lead here for the home side. And the American Goes 0 for 2 from the line. That could come back to bite the rocks. Dusha over the chair, over the timeline. This is Pryor all over him. Driving, Dusha loses his man. Brian Amani backing in on a char. The double comes. Dusha driving. Dusha with a finger roll. It's short. Looked like it may have been deflected. And now this is Ziegler, Achara, Rincunis, Rincunis, Brian Amani picks him up, Pryor, Ziegler, nice take to the rim, but he's met by a sea of Royals, here's Hamilton, Hamilton, Euro stepping, Hamilton, yes sir, big bucket, and now the Rocks can try and push it with numbers, Rincunis slows it down, Pryor, into Ziegler. He's a handful on the block. Oh, Brian Manning, And we have a walk on Ziegler, who's upset about the call. We're going to have some substitutions now 
11 point lead here for the home side and Ziegler is going to sit down and catch his breather Luke Lucas back into this one Dusha watched by Pryor Brian Manning will come up to set the screen pick and roll offense on to Lucas Lucas picks up his dribble this is Jackman, MBA on the block, double comes, drop step, fade, yes sir, MBA, feeling it, he is locked in tonight, and we got a technical coming up here, Lavendier pleading his case that there was a travel, and that will send the Royals to the free throw line for a chance to get an easy point here, and this thing is on aggregate, so you don't want to give up any points here. Any cheap ones, so Hamilton will step up to the free throw line. AJ Roberts is going to come in now for Ed Lucas. So the Royals will go with Hamilton, Dusha, Roberts, Jackman, Brian Amanning, and the Rocks will go with Carpenter, Murray, Rincunas, Pryor, and Achara. And Hamilton knocks it down it's the Royals now with their biggest lead of the game at 14 points interesting to see if the Rocks look to the three ball a little bit now they can shoot it well from behind the arc and coming off a screen we're gonna have Hamilton whistled for a foul as he tried to fight through the screen and he's slow getting to his feet this is some worrying moments for the Royals. Hamilton battled injuries all season. Missed the first couple months of this season, but he's gonna stay in this one. He's a tough cookie. Royals captain trying to lead by example here. Four minutes to go, and they are a big, big four minutes. Rincunis to inbound here from the sidelines. He's got Roberts watching him. This is Pryor. Coming off a screen, it's Carpenter. 12 on the shot clock. Double comes, Achara up top. Murray, three ball. Yes, sir! Gareth Murray with a big time bucket. What a response from the GB International. The stretch four living up to his reputation as one of the best three point shooters in the BBL. Dusha. Royals offense looking a bit stagnant here. And a foul on Achara. Tough call here on Achara. And that will send Dusha to the free throw line. As we'll get a timeout here with 3.30 to go. And it's going down to the wire here at the Crystal Palace National Sports Center. Don't forget to get your Benicos British Basketball Playoff Finals tickets while they are still in stock. Log on to AXS.com for the end of season finale, Sunday, May 19th at the O2 Arena in Southeast London. Who will be there? That is the question. London City Royals have their intentions on being there. The Rocks would love to send Kieran Achar off into retirement with a ring. And of course, the London Lions leading gate to gate this season. The defending champions, the Leicester Riders, and then the Newcastle Eagles, the most successful BBL franchise. And some real teams in that bottom half of the playoff picture, the Cheshire Phoenix, one of the hottest teams in the BBL. Daniel Norrell has been lights out to end the season. A couple of games where he dropped 30 points. So they're going to be a difficult matchup. Of course, the Plymouth Raiders have been hot too. Dante Nicholas has been on fire. Knocking down a lot of big shots, getting offensive boards. He's been a triple-double machine. So don't count out the Sheffield Sharks as well. They've got a lot of great perimeter players. Of course, the veteran Mike Tuck 
on that squad as well. Murray with the board. Here's Murray over the timeline. Pryor driving. Pryor, Murray. Carpenter from the short corner. It's short. Hamilton with a big board. Hamilton on now to Dusha. 3-10 to go here at the Palace. Here's Roberts. A lot of pressure from Carpenter. Murray looking for a steal. Almost forced a backcourt violation, and we got a jump ball here. Gareth Murray doing some great job defensively. So we'll remain Royals possession here with three minutes to go. It's a 12-point lead for the home side. Roberts to inbound. This is Dusha. Watched by Pryor. Trying to get some dribble penetration. Spinning from the elbow, fading. It's short. Offensive board for Jackman. And we have a foul on the play. And that will send Orland Jackman to the free throw line. And that's what Jackman does. A terrific rebounder. Makes a lot of hustle plays. Can get you steals defensively. And has certainly been a fantastic acquisition this offseason. The Oklahoma City University product knocks down the first. His first season here with the Royals since coming over from the Cheshire Phoenix. So 13-point advantage. Jackman misfires on the second. Murray with the defensive board. This is Pryor now pushing it. Pryor crossing over. Thought about a three. Looks instead to Carpenter. Carpenter! And his shot is altered by Brian Amani. Dusha pushing it. Dusha. And he throws it off at Chara. So 21 seconds on the shot clock. Ziegler is going to come back in as Carpenter will take a breather. Roberts to inbound. Dusha. Up at the top of the key now finds Brian Amani that's poked loose. It's last touch on the Rocks. The Romain Royals ball with 15 on the shot clock. Johnny Bunyan is going to come in now for Rincunis. Johnny Bunyan, a 14-time Scottish national champion, the Falkirk native, 26 years of age and committed for now this is Hamilton on to Dusha. Jackman, Brian Amani, double comes. And he's called for a travel. So Matthew Brian Amani with the turnover. 2.22 to go here. Bunyan to inbound. Royals are going to show press. Murray walking a tightrope on the sidelines. Achara thought about the three. Murray. Bunyan, Pryor, screen comes from Ziegler. Pryor, some nice handles. Whoa, Pryor. Unable to find the range, though, on the jumper. This is Hamilton now. Hamilton crossing over. Hamilton going to work. Kick out. Jackman, three ball. Yes, sir. Big time bucket from Bearded Boy Wonder with under two minutes to go. And it's a 16-point lead for the home side. And we're going to have a foul on the play here. It looks like Ed Lucas is going to get whistled for a push. As we get a timeout here from the Glasgow Rocks. So, big deficit for the Rocks, but important that they chip away here at the lead as they go back on Sunday to play that return leg. They have been one of the best teams in the BBL at home. And they certainly pack that arena up in Glasgow and are a difficult, difficult matchup. So no lead is safe going into Glasgow. What a transformation Coach Vincent Lavendier has made on this squad. Earlier in the season, sitting in ninth position in the BBL. Looked like they were out of the playoff picture, but right back up to fifth. At times, they were in fourth in the BBL. 
It's like a technical will be called. This means Achara will go to the charity stripe. It's the 35-year-old veteran, Kieran Achara. One of the best ever from Britain. Storied, storied career for the 6'10 Southpaw. And he makes no mistake on the technical free throw. It's 155 to go. 15-point lead for the Royals here at the Palace. Murray, Bunyan, Pryor, Ziegler, and Achara, your five Glasgow Rocks. And now Dangakoto is going to come in for Alvisi Dusha, who's had a nice performance tonight, it's really stepping up with Wes Washburn out of the lineup tonight. And that's a big loss for the Royals, with Washburn averaging over 16 points per game. Bunyan. On to Pryor. Murray. Here's Ziegler. Short corner. Fading. Tough shot. And it's Dangakoto with the board. Dangakoto now over the timeline. Jackman. Brian Amani up top. This is Hamilton. Seven on the shot clock. Hamilton. Hamilton, he's got to go in a hurry. Four seconds, the three ball doesn't go. And it's saved by Roberts, but right to a rock. Here is Greg Pryor, and that's a foul on Orland Jackman. With 109 to go here, and that will send them to the charity stripe. A substitution as Boone Enjai is going to come in here for Bo Ziegler. And Greg Pryor will go to the free throw line as Greg Pryor has had a fantastic game in this one. He's been quieter in the second half. He led the Rocks in scoring in the first half. So 109 left to go here at the Palace. Achara, Pryor, Murray, Bunyan, and Enjai looking to close it out for the Rocks, for the Royals. It's Dangakoto, Jackman, Brian Amani, Hamilton, and Roberts. Dangakoto driving on Bunyan. Dangakoto and the denial from Achara. Big time block from the big man. Enjai doesn't get it to go and will go to the free throw line. Kieran Achara in fourth in the BBL in the regular season with over a block a game. And very good at getting chased down blocks as well. One of the best rim protectors in the BBL, Kieran Achara. What a season, what a career for Kieran Achara. So Njai knocks down the first. 12 point deficit now for the Rocks. And the second doesn't go, and Jackman brings it down. Dangakoto, 50 seconds to go. Dangakoto, direct in traffic here. This is Hamilton. Hamilton, almost threw it away. Dangakoto, six on the shot clock. Dangakoto, one on one. Step back three. Misses everything. Roberts doesn't get it to go. Jackman tracks it down. And it looks like had a bit of a problem there with the shot clock. Didn't reset after it hit the rim. The officials will put it back at 14. 25 seconds to go. Jackman to inbound. And Jai watching him. And it goes to Dangakoto. Almost gets stripped by Bunyan. Dangakoto, double team comes, throws it away. Here's Murray. Murray showing some handles. Enjai driving. Enjai baseline. Ran out of traffic and he stepped on the end line. So out of bounds, a turnover. 11.8 seconds to go. Dusha's going to come in and we're going to get a timeout here. It's the Royals. Want every bucket they can get and try and cushion that lead.
as they go up to Glasgow on Sunday, a game that try and get out there if you can, if you're in Glasgow or nearby. If you can't, you can see it on the BBC. 11.8 seconds to go. Benicos British Basketball Playoff Finals. The end of season finale, Sunday, May 19th in North Greenwich at the O2 Arena. Get your tickets at axs.com while they are still in stock. Big story tonight, Matthew Bryan Manning. Matthew Bryan amazing, 21 points. He really brought it tonight. The West Croydon native growing up just 10 minutes or so away from Crystal Palace National Sports Center. Close to a double-double, had eight rebounds. Talking about double-doubles, Orlin Jackman with 10 points and 11 rebounds. Ashley Hamilton as well. 15 points, 17 boards. He got it done on the glass tonight. And that has been one of the issues tonight for the Rocks who have tried to play small ball a little bit. They don't quite have the size to match up with the Royals and rebounds vastly favoring the Royals at 48 to 33. Second chance points also 14 to three for the Royals. Dusha. 10 to go here, Dusha, driving, Dusha, good coverage here, three seconds, got to get something off, Brian Manning for the three, yes sir, Brian Manning caps it, 24 points on the night for NBA Live, and the Royals win the first leg, 75 to 60, and we'll head up to Glasgow with a 15 point cushion on Sunday. So an excellent execution here by the London City Royals. The Glasgow Rocks hung with the home side for a large part of this game before running out of gas in the fourth quarter. I'm Mike Weaver. Thanks for being with us tonight. We hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did. Let's look ahead as well in the playoff picture here in the BBL tomorrow. The Sheffield Sharks will host the Newcastle Eagles. Cheshire Phoenix will entertain the Leicester Riders and on Sunday it's going to be a busy day the Plymouth Raiders hosting the London Lions the Leicester Riders will welcome the Cheshire Phoenix and the Newcastle Eagles will host the Sheffield Sharks and the Glasgow Rocks will play lag two against the London City Royals with a bit of work to do 15 points they got to make up and on holiday Monday, the London Lions will play host to the Plymouth Raiders in the second leg of that one at the Copper Box Arena. Mike Weber here for everyone involved in the production. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did. Do get out to some playoff action if you can. It has been a spectacular season and we're into May Madness now, the culmination of one of the best BBL seasons in recent history. So we'll see you soon for all of us here. So long from the palace.